Greetings, comrades. Hope this finds you well. So in addition to having really horrible political takes and not being funny, even though he claims to be a comedian, Bill Maher is also a scab. It was, he came out, I think, I don't know, pull it up in a second on Twitter, maybe yesterday or today, saying that his show Real Time with Bill Maher will resume, even though the WGA, the, was it, Writers Guild of America, all the you know writers for TV shows, movies, etc., are still on strike. Real time will be coming back without writers, so it'll be even less funny and enjoyable than it was before. And he's <clears throat> trying to make it about well, you know, there's all these other people, you know, who work on the show who aren't part of the Writers Guild. They need to be paid. Uh, you have a net worth of over a hundred million dollars, Bill Maher. So you're just a selfish, greedy bastard who isn't really thinking about any other, but any other person besides yourself. You're not showing any type of solidarity with the writers, who, by and large, are not hundred millionaires like yourself. And he's not the only rich bastard acting this way. Drew Barrymore recently came out and said her, sh I think it's a, she has a daytime talk show and that will be coming back on air despite the writers part of the w WGA who write for her show are still on strike um, as well. And she also has a net worth over $100 million. <clears throat> I mean... Yep, just not showing any type of solidarity with the writers who make his shitty show go around. This is all he really needed to say. Somebody else pointed this out. <laughs> um, real time is coming back, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five. That's six words. Just, just leave it there. Um, you obviously don't sympathize with him that much if you're bringing the show back during a strike, you fucking scab, you goddamn rat. Um, despite some assistance, yes, I'm sure you've been helping out a whole lot. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the hypocritical multimillionaire chooses the out of touch, right? Hard for you to understand that he could be fucking lending a hand and showing solidarity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pete. That's your experience, but that shouldn't matter. I mean, he is just not funny, dude. There you go. I'm a scow. Um, okay. So pretty much everybody's letting him letting him hear it in the comments. Um, so Kudos to them. Most people see through that fucking bullshit. Just a scab. Just a scab. The show will disappoint, as it always does, as it always has been. Um, maybe unless they brought on a different host who actually had some funny takes and opinions and wasn't just this um, crotchety, old, white, rich bastard who is just like, old dude on the porch get off my lawn <clears throat> you know type of you know reactionary opinions basically and then you have drew barrymore same thing also a scab um it's returned to cbs uh september 18th without unionized writers amid the wga strike one of the lead writers i personally understand that everybody has to make the best decision for themselves I know that the show has a crew of hundreds of people who need to be paid and understand the perspective of wanting to protect your cast, crew, and your staff. She added, and expanding out more, we're standing with all the labor and all the unions across the world because it's how it works. Unions only work when you stick together with unions across the labor spectrum. Um, and then, so just for, for some perspective, these motherfuckers are very very well off i mean do you really need a hundred fucking million dollars and again they didn't they have that money 
through the labor of others. Think about all the people on the shows and the movies that they're in. $125 million. She could afford to be paying those people until this strike ends. She could be showing solidarity, showing up to the picket lines, adding her voice to the cause, you know, as this rich, powerful celebrity. Same with Bill Maher, but no, he's taking the scab way out. Same with Drew Barrymore. $140 million. $140 million. But both both scabs, so I say, I mean, I didn't consume any of their content before. That was a good reason to not consume any of their content going on. Both scabs. You don't cross a picket line, particularly when you're a hundred fucking millionaire and there's absolutely no reason to except you're a selfish bastard not wanting to stand in solidarity with the working class peace much love all part of the people